So here we are, back at SNG for another week, and we are here with the amazing uh, and awesome Isaac, who, uh, well, yesterday I spent a bunch of time making up a CGI set, that desk you're seeing there, CGI in the background, and it's green screen. You can show them the green screen, the original. Click on over here. There you go. That's what we had to work with. Wait, wait, let me turn off the. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's what we had to work with. And uh, and so then uh, I made up the background in Lightwave based on a frame grab from the set. Since the camera's locked down, it was easy to match camera angle and everything. Uh, of course, we made it out the background and then we put in the desk and then we put in the background with the Steve Altman show and we got that. So. Times. Pretty, yeah, good times. And we really love doing this. Of course, it's all layers, so we can mess with it and do whatever we want. And uh, yeah, so that's what Isaac is working on today. So I don't have to, and I can go play with robot heads and stuff. And yet another part of this mold being laid up. And this is uh, part number two, I believe. And uh, we're going to go to part number three, I hope, today. So Giselle is going over our puppet one more time to make everything sure everything's on the up and up and we are going to be molding this tomorrow. That's right. We're going to mold the front half. Yeah. Um, yep. That's what we're going to do. Thank you, Giselle. You're welcome. Yeah. It's important. Over here, uh, this, is, uh, this is finally really done. I got a little bit of touch up to do on the paint job. I had to do some different things to it since we tested it at Chris's Pools. Tested it? Uh, since we test the model at Chris's Pool, um, I got a skipjack. Isn't that cool? My very own skipjack, which I'm going to build for myself. I'm going to make my own watertight cylinder for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I haven't done that in a long time. Of course, over here is the Valiant. And the Valiant is uh, um, going to get worked on some more this week and uh, what I'm going to do to it is um, blend off these appendages. I'm going to make uh, connectors that make them go up and down and turn and move and uh, get a coat of primer on it. I got to drill off the sail and stuff and uh, fit the watertight compartment. Uh, I got to get rid of some gaps, some little pesky gaps. What's going to be done in this, which is really kind of cool, is I put the two halves together, both at the top and the bottom of the hole because this comes in a very small box and what they did is they divided it down the middle uh, so they could uh, get it in a smaller box which helps for shipping and then you put it back together which really wasn't that hard it's got very good key pins in it that push it together so using the correct glue liquid cement uh, for styrene I, I welded this together and then taped it together before the glue completely set up uh, so it was bendable and pliable because you want to make sure you can get the top, bottom and the top together and they fit together tightly and you have this nice uh, seam here that's very closed uh, because if you were actually to do these top and the bottom separately uh, and you thought that you were straight and linear to the bottom you would find that you wouldn't get it closed very well and you have a gap to fill so I did it this way and taped it together we'll let this sit overnight and uh, tomorrow I'll be able to then do what I did to this and I'm going to cut the hole here right there and then I'm going to cut it right here here right to here and that way that top can come off and go back on I have access to all the controls and stuff here we have sleeping dogs it's cold back here the sun is going down it's only 20 minutes after 4 Mary's got the day off. Here is the other half of our uh, mold for uh, Colby's tricorder, which uh, is coming up very well. So we'll be able to take this clay off tomorrow and then do the other side of this. And the last part we're going to do is the end. And uh, very shortly we're going to start tomorrow. In fact, I'm uh, going to get Jim going on these. Uh, we're going to start molding. We're going to mold this part and this part both. With this character, you'll notice that there's just the slightest hint of a ridge. And when I looked at some of the uh, video online and some of the uh, 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 animations uh, from the... Ah, uh, God, I'm tired. Uh, 
From the trailer, I was able to see there's actually a ridge over the top of the eye that's very, very faint and some people missed and it really makes a huge difference in how he looks. So I've been putting it in. Now, a nice thing is, is this is epoxy sculpt uh, and what I'll be able to do when this is uh, sets up all the way is sand this perfectly smooth, get rid of uh, any errors like this and, uh, you know, really, uh, well, here, let me put this on here. And you can see just how much this adds to the way this character looks. It just really does it, doesn't it? So, uh, yeah, and I'll show you what I mean, because I'm going I'm to go in here. This is Apoxy Sculpt, and it's basically uh, epoxy in two parts, and you mix it together by hand, and you're able to sculpt it like clay, which is really what I need to do, which really gives it that right look. So let's go take a look here in the studio. Yes, it's night outside, and the sun has gone down, and I have to go home now, but uh, I'll show you what I mean. Here, uh, there you can see it. It's quite pronounced. No question that it's there. And there's a little bit of an edge right there too. Uh, not much, but um, um, I'm going to be able to get that in just right pretty soon here. Just sculpting it by hand. So that's what I'm doing. And then of course I'll sand it up. I already said that tomorrow. Giselle just left. She uh, finished up this sculpture pretty damn well, which means that uh, tomorrow we can start making a mold. So we're finally gonna mold this, and it's really kind of neat to look at it like this. Uh, just, you know, there standing on the floor like that, which is what it's gonna be doing in the kitchen. And uh, he's distorted a bit because of his weight pushing down uh, on the legs, but we're gonna fix all that. I just thought it looked really cool. I wanted you to see it like this. Um, Jim's over here. He's working on the third section of this mold. Um, it's a very complicated mold, but we're, we're getting it worked out, aren't we, Jim? Yep. Yep, definitely are. So he's gonna lay that up. Then we're gonna take this off uh, and put it over here and start laying it up to mold the first part of it. So here we are. Uh, we've you know put boards underneath it, lots of waste clay, and now the fine clay, which was cut by using two boards like this and putting the clay in between the board and using this wire guy here and slicing very precise slices to lay up the right and left half of our little creature here. Uh, and we're about to, uh, you see the keys I put on, we're about to start pouring on resin. And here's awesome Giselle and awesome Samira. And they're baking their first 1630 mold. But you know what, you guys, you forgot something. What? We're screwed. You didn't put Vaseline on it. I'm just kidding. Wait. I was like, you told me we didn't need it. Only on the eyes. I don't believe this stuff sticks to clay. So, uh, and we're putting on uh, the splash coat, which gets all the detail. And then the next coat we're going to put on will be, uh, we're going to put some fiberglass cloth on this and do another batch like this. And by golly, that's the first half of the mold. Just that easy. So here we go, uh, Zamira's pouring up another batch and we got our fiberglass cloth on and now we're gonna do uh, the bracer coat and that basically makes our mold. Well, it may not look like much, but it's got a heart of gold. No, <laughs> it, uh, we're gonna flip this over tomorrow and trim off all the, the edges and take away all the clay and stuff and clean everything up and then do the back side after we uh, lubricate the other side. Although this material doesn't stick to itself very well, we still want to make sure we use uh, uh, probably a wax PVA combination to make sure that the two halves come apart easily. Plus we'll uh, put some clay gaps uh, on the other side so there's less of the surface actually making contact with itself. But uh, for my first full body 1630 mold, it's not bad. Uh, it's hard to make it look really perfectly smooth the way you can with UltraCal and stuff. But ultimately, another coat over this would be great to make it look pretty uh, with more thickener in it and smooth it out by hand. But I, I, this is what we need and this is what I'm going to work with. I'm really pleased we're able to do this all by 6 o'clock. Well, welcome back. It's... Uh Monday and uh, we're about to cut the show but I thought before I did I'd show you a few more things and normally I try to do it on Friday but it looks like I'm being pushed to Monday but I'm still getting it done once a week um, so let me go show you what's going on with that mold we talked about uh, nobody's here yet except Rosie 
So it's just us chickens here. And uh, actually, I'm not a chicken. But this is a mold. And it looks pretty, uh, pretty, <laughs> not that tidy right now. But of course, I haven't trimmed off all the stuff. And that's what I'm going to do next. We're going to turn this mold upside down once I get it taken away from the table here and uh, flip it upside down and cut off the edge and then we're gonna open it up okay so here we go we got the mold apart came apart very very easily no problems found we got good casting all the way around on everything no uh, bubbles no problems we do have a lot of debris and a lot of clay and a lot of broken bits which we have to grind off but uh, the mold itself is really nice so now we have our mold which means that I can start making up one of these puppets and getting it going and over here we are getting very close to uh, finishing this off uh, the Mohawks a lot further along these I laved on the lathe and they're just kind of stuck on there for now everything is I need to go back over this sharpen this up some more uh, blend it really well to the top of this uh, the eyes are looking pretty good the jaw is looking pretty good and then we will make a mold on this uh, maybe this week at the latest next week so Sharon did get to get in on this uh, after all of course yeah. not the most fun part <laughs> she wasn't here last week so she came this week and she gets to clean out the mold but she's doing a good job and now that everything's dug out of there uh, you can see it, it looks like a mold and, and we're going to take this outside and hose it hose it down and then put it back together and put some bolts through it and uh, we'll show you all that when we come back live no not live from SNG uh, so there I had to put it on the floor but I got it back together again and uh, we've got our mold you can see it fits back together rather well so we just uh, got to clean this up make it look pretty now kind of grind it and stuff like that and that so concludes our mold there's the original armature we used to sculpt on it and there's uh, the mold. Uh, next stop will be to make an aluminum armature that's hinged that we can move and attach, have attachment points to, and then foam one up. And thank you. <laughs> so here we go. We've got uh, both halves done, and uh, there's, now I just have to do some cleanup. You can see how nice it came out. Everything's there, and uh, the hands, everything. So and this part fits on top of this part like so uh, so there I had to put it on the floor but I got it back together again and uh, we've got our mold you can see it fits back together rather well so we just uh, got to clean this up make it look pretty now kind of grind it and stuff like that and that so concludes our mold there's the original armature we used to sculpt on it and there's uh, the mold uh, next stop will be to make an aluminum armature that's hinged that we can move and attach have attachment points to and then foam one up and on my uh, skipjack uh, this is now all one piece except of course uh, I will remove this for now but this just comes off like so but we're gonna have we're gonna make a cut here and we're gonna make a cut down here and attach this part here to the upper half uh, which is typical but see it's all one piece now it's uh, really quite nice so I can start slowly but surely working on this sub which is my own personal skipjack it's been a great week I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw and again thank you for all your support thank you to all our patreon supporters uh, who have been very very helpful to us here uh, at SNG. We appreciate it a great deal. Of course, you want to contribute and become a Patreon supporter, you can go to their website and find us there. And uh, again, thanks again and again and again for all your support. You guys are wonderful. We love you. See you next week.